Hello guys, welcome back to, to my to my video. Uh, my name is Ishone. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create a simple neural network using NumPy. We are not going to use any fancy library like PyTorch or what. So uh, it, it, in general, but uh, in real life, you are going to use those uh, machine learning libraries to implement uh, to implement uh, neural networks because it's going to be easier for you. But in this case, I want you to understand uh, the backbone, the background of or the mathematics behind the, the, the neural networks. So in this case, uh, I have this simple neural network. In this case, we have the input layer, we have hidden layers, and then we have the output layer, which will display our outputs. Uh, let's say you want to classify between if it's a dog or cat, uh, we feed in dog images, and then cat images, and then here in the first hidden layer, uh, the weights, uh, the input one, the input one and input two, uh, uh, multiplied by the weights and then added to the bias. After that, they're then uh, activated by an activation function. They're then passed to the second hidden layer. And then the same process is repeated up to the HN hidden layer. And then we pass them on to the output uh, layer. So in this case, I'm going to, I'll be using only NumPy. So I've, input, uh, I've uh, imported NumPy, NumPy library. Uh, and then we have the sigmoid function. So the sigmoid function, it acts as an activation function, right? Yeah, we use it as an activation function. So what happens with the sigmoid function is, as you can see, if you have a large negative number, it's uh, assigned as zero, as you can see here. As we go to large negative numbers, they uh, they become zero. If you have a big positive number, it then becomes one, as you can see. Uh, as we go up to infinity, uh, it becomes one. As you can see, and then we can, and then there is 0 0.5, which is the middle point. Uh, also, the sigmoid function can be used as an activation function. You can also use it as a sort of like uh, in classification. If you want to classify, let's say, for the example I gave between dogs and cats, uh, if let's say uh, if uh, our image is a dog, you see that the probability our sigmoid function will give us will be 0 0.8, and then this other 0 0.2 will be a cat, right? So without wasting much more time, uh, let's dive deep into it. So the first step is we are going to create uh, the sigmoid function. We are going to create the sigmoid function. Uh, uh, we are going to create uh, the sigmoid function. So it's going to return. It's going to return. Uh, it's going to return one over one plus uh, np dot ex exponential so as according to this formula it, the formula for the for the sigma function is one over one plus exp to the power negative set but in this case we are using x as our input so we just say one plus uh to use the exponential in numpy we just say uh np uh np dot exp and then we put, uh uh and then we put a uh, negative x right so this is uh the, this is just the sigma function just simple as that and then the other thing is we are just going to create a single neuron, the class for the single neuron. As you can see, a neural network is a collection of neurons. As you can see, this is a single neuron, single neuron, a single neuron. So we are just going to create a neuron class. And then we'll join those neurons together to create a neural network. Okay. So it's neuron, uh, neuron uh, and then we are going to create uh, the constructor. So if you are not, uh, familiar with object oriented programming uh, a constructor is just uh, a the function that allows you to set values to the class right uh, so and then we have the weights and then we have the bias it's our inputs so self dot weights we are just assigned to the weights self dot bias yeah just going to assign you to the bias uh and then uh inside the neuron uh there are two processes that uh, happens inside uh, uh a single neuron so we have the feed forward and then we have the activation so we have the feed forward function it's going to take our 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 input uh it's going to take our our input we're going to take our inputs it's going to take our inputs 
Uh, so what happens is uh, when uh, when we get an input, we multiply it by the weights and the bias, and then we activate it, and then we move on to the next hidden layer. So this process of from the going from the inputs to the output is quite is called a uh, feed forward. So in this case, uh, we are just going to total as I said, this goes to NP dot. Uh, we are going. As I said earlier, that we apply the weights with the inputs, and then we add the bias to the we add the bias to the what we add the bias to the to the to the weights. Yeah, we get we get an input. We apply the input by the weights, and then we add the bias to it. And then uh, we are and then I say that there is going to be an activation. So we are just going to retain. And then that's going to take uh that's going to take uh our total. So what we are, we are doing is just we are just taking this after feed forward and then we then activate it. That's why I said uh it retain uh, the sigmoid. Uh and then the final and then the other we are going to create uh the class for the neural network. So this class is going to join these single neurons to make uh a neuron neural network. Uh, to create a neural network. So we are just going to create uh, the constructor. Weights uh, and bias. Uh, sorry, uh, here there's no need to, to do with uh, weights and bias. We're just going to leave it like that. And then uh, we are just going to initialize our weights uh, as values from uh, from zero to one in an array. And then the bias is uh, we just going to assign it to zero. Then we are going to create the first hidden layer. So the first hidden layer is goes to the neuron. And then we use weights. And then uh, we are just we are going to create the fit forward function again, but this for the whole neural network. We are going to create the, uh, the feed forward for the second hidden layer. And then we have the output layer. So the output layer is going to take uh, an array of both uh, the first hidden layer and the second hidden layer. So 
so what happened in, uh yeah uh so i have not explained so what happened is like uh as i said yeah, uh in this case we have uh the input layer and then in this neural network the first hidden layer the second hidden layer and then up to n hidden layers but in our neural network in this case we have created this neuron right a single neuron uh, but uh, a neural network is just a collection of neurons, just like cells in your body. Uh, your body is, is not just a single cell, but it's a collection of, of, of cells, a network of cells. That's how a neural network is. So here we have the class neural network, right? And then we initialize the weights from zero up to one. The bias, we initialize it at zero. And then the first hidden layer, we first hidden layer neuro, neuron, we initialize this, first hidden layer neurons, second hidden layer neuron, and then the, the output hidden layer neuron, uh, sorry, it should be output hidden layer, output hidden layer neuron in this case. And then we perform the feed forward for the whole neural network, not just the single neuron, but for the whole neural, neural network. That's why we use out uh, h1 is equal to self.h1 feed forward, and then out.h2 self.h2 Feed forward, and then for the output of the whole neural network, we take the the output of this of these single neurons, and then we use the feed forward, and then from we take an array of both the the whole neuron, the whole the first hidden layer and the second hidden layer, and then we retain out H1. So in this case, uh, since it's the same class, we are going to initialize the neural network. to neural and then uh x uh we are going to input x as np dot array we're going to input x as an array of numbers from two to three right in an array uh we can print and then we can print uh, the neural network. So we can print this uh, neural network dot feed forward. Why did you use neural network dot feed forward? As you can see here, we have this uh, object. So this object of the neural network can initialize this value feed forward. It retains the output of the neural network. That's why you use feed forward. So if you, so uh, I made a mistake. Uh, there should be an input. So. Uh, it's saying that the name, the name uh, feed forward is not uh, the name feed forward is not defined. Uh, I think that I did not initialize. Uh, let's see, uh, feed forward is not defined. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. I made an error here. Uh, it's also saying fit forward is not defined. Let me see what's what's going on. What's the problem? I think that our function is not defined. Okay, let me just uh, copy this function just in case of it. If I did, uh, uh, if I misspelled uh, the word. Uh, 
class neural network uh, everything is fine uh, okay guys uh, let me just to, uh, pause the video and take a look at uh, what's the error in no, guys, so uh, we have finally created uh, a neural network. So I had made a typo. Uh, as you can see, if I run this neural network, uh, we then get this output. So the purpose of this video was to show you how to create a basic neural network using uh, NumP, a mathematical library, uh, without using uh, any deep learning library, so that you grasp the concept of uh, the mathematics behind neural networks. So thanks for watching, guys. So don't please. Don't forget to please subscribe and uh, put your comments down down below. Thanks, guys.